Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of the Leading in Healthcare podcast. This week's episode is going to be a little bit different because I'm actually filming a video while I'm also recording the podcast. So for those of you that want to see me in action or just love interacting with video content, which is my most preferred type of content, then you can watch the video on the Yashika Land YouTube if you are not watching it there already. Otherwise, you won't notice anything different. This is a podcast, same time, same place. Just thought that I would jazz it up a little bit. So again, if you want to see the video rather than listen to the podcast, then look in the show notes and you're going to find information about how to go over to my YouTube channel to subscribe and turn on your notifications and watch the YouTube video. So without further ado, let's get into the topic of this week, which is all about overcoming your inner critic. Some of you may or may not know, but in December of 2020, I believe, I started a personal mastery membership, which was a 12-month membership where I took a handful of ladies through lessons and things that I've learned throughout my life in order to be the successful person that you see sitting in front of you. And the premise or one of the premises for sharing that knowledge was that I am a firm believer that thoughts create things. And us humans typically have about 80,000 thoughts a day. Now, here's the important part to note about that. Of those 80,000 thoughts, about 80 to 90% of them are the same thoughts you thought the day before and the week before and the year before. So we're not really changing what it is that we're thinking about, number one. And number two, studies have shown that most of those thoughts are negative. And that just broke my heart because what it means is that even though you may feel that you want to move forward and you want to progress and you want to do better in life, when you're thinking these incessantly negative thoughts over and over, day after day, sometimes all of the hard work that you're trying to do is negated by the thoughts that you think on a day-to-day basis. So this is important for you to understand as you start to move into overcoming your inner critic. Last year, I also did, I think it was like a five-day challenge on self-love. And that was probably one of the highest participation rates that I've ever experienced in a program. But through that program, it was also one of the most favorite programs that people went through because I took them through five key days of learning to love themselves more. One of the things that we went over though was self-love and learning how to talk to ourselves in a better way. And that seemed to be one of the hardest days that everybody went through. And the feedback that I got was phenomenal around how hard it was to learn to forgive yourself and learn to talk to yourself in a more respectable and more loving way. If you don't get a hold of this inner critic, it doesn't matter how much work you do in your career and in your personal life, you are going to undermine your success that you could realize as a leader and a success that you could realize in these personal relationships. And oftentimes this inner critic is not stemmed in anything other than when you get to the root cause of it, a lack of self-respect, a lack of self-esteem, which is all when you get down deep into it, a lack of proper self-love. Without getting this inner critic under control, you damage your relationship with yourself, with your relationship with the people that you care about, and you also undermine your professional career as well. So your inner critic is basically what some may call negative self-talk or negative thought loops. And it is these incessant thoughts that creep up, like I said, continuously day after day, year after year, month after month, where you're not talking to yourself mentally in a positive frame of mind, in a positive way. These thought loops usually stem from the conditioning and the experiences that you've had thus far from the time where you were a child up into where you are now. This negative self-talk stems from the experiences and the conditioning that you have had as a child 
up until now. When these things, this conditioning, these experiences don't go in the way that you would expect them to go, and you couple that with the immaturity of our cognitive and emotional abilities, what you will have is a flawed belief system that occurred when you were less mature that inhibits your progress in today's time. This is powerful because these beliefs are limited. This emotional reaction based on what we picked up in past experiences is also less than optimal. However, the way that we're wired once these beliefs are hardwired into paradigms, we experience the world through that flawed lens because of something called confirmation bias, which we tend to filter in or look for things that align with the way that we believe. And if we believe in a flawed system, if we believe in things being negative, or if we believe things based on our conditioning and our past experiences that have been hardwired, even though we weren't mentally and emotionally mature, you can see how your inner critic can start to cause some problems for you, even though there may not even be a problem presently, you can start to see how this inner critic can cause you difficulties. So we could talk about this inner critic for a long time. In fact, that could be a whole nother podcast in itself. But what I would really like to do is teach you some things that you can do to overcome this inner critic so that you can realize more success in your personal and professional life. However, if you do want more information about that self-love class that I taught last year, I will link um, the replays with all the materials and all the videos if you want to go through that class on your own in the show notes. Um, so take advantage of that if self-care, self-respect, self-esteem is something that you struggle with and you would like more help in that area. It was again, a very powerful way to spend five days of your life. All right, so I told you all about the inner critic, what it is, how it results, but <laughs> the title of the episode is how to overcome your inner critic. So I want to give you two of my top tips for you to be able to overcome your inner critic. So number one, you're going to need a notebook for this. And I want you to carry this notebook around for maybe let's do it for two to three days. Because remember, you think the same thoughts over and over again. And what you're going to be doing in this notebook is writing down all of the negative thoughts that you have throughout the day. At the end of the day, I want you to take a little bit of time to look at what you've written down. And I want you to start to write down the opposite of what you wrote down as your negative thoughts. This does two things. Number one, it starts to make you more aware of the way that you talk to yourself because sometimes being aware of it is enough to understand how ridiculous and harmful it could be and to get you to change when it starts to occur in real time. Number two, what this does is it gives you a basis for creating affirmations for yourself so that you can begin to hardwire in new thoughts that are more positive and more conducive to your success as a leader. So for instance, if one of your thoughts that crops up is, I'm never good enough. Anytime I'm in a meeting, I feel like I just don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe the opposite of that would be, I always know what I'm talking about in a meeting and I speak so eloquently and so knowledgeable and everybody values what I share in a meeting, right? And if you start to do this on a day-to-day -day basis, then pretty soon replacing those negative thoughts you had with something positive will start to hardwire in new thoughts and you will find that that self-doubt and that inner critic starts to become more and more and more quiet in these instances in your life that you identify. Number two is like super easy, but sometimes we forget it. If we had a friend that came to us and they were saying the negative bad things that we say about ourselves, we would give them advice about how awesome they are. We would tell them to stop talking to themselves that way. We would try to cheer them up. We would help them see the truth, all of the things. However, when it comes to our own personal self-talk, our inner critic, we don't give ourselves that grace and that love and that compassion. And so the second tip that I have for you to help you to overcome your inner critic is 
to start to recognize when you are in this state of letting your inner critic take over. And I want you to act like you're a friend of yourself and give yourself advice as you would a friend. And it's not enough to just do this as if you're pretending. And I want you to apply that advice. So I know this week's episode is a little bit short and sweet, but the information that I've provided to you is impactful as always. Understanding your inner critic, understanding how it is detrimental to your success, and then taking these two key things that I did to help you to overcome your inner critic is going to start to push you well on your way to starting to quiet that um, negative inner critic in your life and also to help propel you into success more easily or effectively efficiently and more whole. So I hope that you find today's episode helpful. There is no orientation manual for leaders. Oftentimes, if we do get any orientation, it's around the tasks of what it is that we do, but we often don't get that manual for being authentic and compassionate and innovative and all the things that truly make a leader great. And so if you like what you hear in this podcast, I invite you to download it. I invite you to share with a friend, rate, leave me a comment, um, share this with someone else that may need to hear it. Because like I said, we as leaders in healthcare are sometimes just thrown to the wolves and have to figure it out for ourselves. And if you want to learn more about how you can work with me either in your organization or work with you as your coach and help you overcome some of your leadership hurdles or even some of your personal hurdles, then you can find more information about how to work with me in the show notes, or you can go to www.yashikalind.com for more information on that. And I will see you or talk to you in next week's episode. Take care. Bye.